So. We seem to be a little bit fewer today. I can't imagine why that is. There's not like there's any white stuff outside that has kept some people home. But congratulations to you all for coming anyway. So, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Very good. I have a question for you today. What is the church? What is the church? We always talk about the church of Christ. But what is it? Is it the building? Yes and no. The building is a church, but the church is not summed up and contained in the building. So what is the church? Is it the priest? Is it the priest? Partly, but not by himself. The priest doesn't make up the church. Is it the bishop? Yes, you can't have a church without a bishop, but not by himself. Is it the president of the parish council? Yes. Partly, yes and no, exactly. You see, the answer to all of these questions is yes and no. Christian caught on, okay? Yes and no, for the parish council. Yes and no, for your parents. Yes and no for everybody out there in the pews. And yes and no for every one of you. Now, no one of us by ourselves is the church. Together, all together, we make up the church of Christ. Where do we come together most perfectly? I'll tell you. We come together in this place. But most perfectly, we come together when we receive communion. We all take from the same cup. We all receive the same body because we all are baptized into the same Lord. This is what makes us a church. When we are one, when we are together in love and in harmony in the same way as the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ, are one. So, from the generalities then to specifics, who knows what's happening today? Do you see it in the announcements? We are electing a new parish council today, or rather we're electing five new members of the parish council. Now, how many of you have parents who are on the parish council? How many of you have parents who are running for the parish council? How many of you have parents who have been on the council in the past? Now, here's an interesting thing. That's why you're here. Because your parents know that to serve the church is a blessing and a necessity for them, for their families, and for their children. They know that they are an indispensable, a necessary part of the church, and so are you. We cannot have church without all of you. Did you know that a priest cannot do a liturgy by himself? He has to have, not just because he has to have a chanter there, even if he's saying everything by himself. If the priest is the only Christian in the room, he has to do nothing except for pray by himself. But he can't do a liturgy. He can't consecrate the gifts because the liturgy is not just the work of the priest, but it is the work of the people. That's what liturgy means. Liturgia is the urgia, the work of the, light, of the laity, of the people, and the priest working together. So the priest can't make communion without someone to say, Amen, Amen, 
Amen. Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy. I want you all to remember this. Because so many of you put up your hands to say that your parents are on the parish council. So many of you then have your parents not home sometimes because they have to come to serve the church. And I want you to remember that this is a blessing. That this is a necessary thing. And when they serve the church, they are doing it because they love you and they love Christ. And they want you to grow up and learn to love Christ as well. So that you can be in full a part of the church. Okay? So, if you remember anything from today, remember that the church is not just me, not just the bishop, not just the building, not just any one of you. We are only a church instead of a bunch of people when we gather together and pray and receive communion and glorify God as one. May we all be one today and every day. God bless you. Now let's stand up and we'll receive communion.